Jersey Talking Therapies is the States of Jersey's free therapy service and is open for all adults aged 18 and over. You can access it by referral from your GP or any other health professional that you're in contact with. We also offer groups for mindfulness, groups to help people with coping with strong emotions. We also offer a self-help service at the library. We have a family and carers support service which supports those who have a loved one who might be experiencing mental ill health. We have a whole programme for young people and that's important because we know that early interventions, nipping in the bud is important so we're working with schools and colleges to provide that support for youngsters. We have a residential unit where people with more profound mental ill health can find a, a comfortable home where again they are given support and peer support is another service. We realised that there was a bit of a gap in the market for informal support. Um, lots of people, you know, can access therapy and counsellors and what have you, but um, we felt that kind of peer support was really important. And we're just here to support each other, show kindness and compassion. Um, there's no hierarchy here, so people can just come in. They don't have to disclose anything if they don't want to. Um, they can just, you know, build friendships and be part of the community. Or if they want to come and share their stories, then they're more than welcome to and we'll support them however we can. My Voice is a charity that specialises in supporting people who have severe and enduring mental ill health or people who suffer from a significant lack of capacity. We deal with people at the extreme end of ill health, people who've been detained or sectioned and are in hospital, people who perhaps are in prison or who need to be sent to specialist treatment centres in the UK. Most people are people that we see when we visit the hospital wards at St Saviour's every week, but we get referrals from family members, from friends, from vicars, teachers, it can be right across the board, but a significant number are self-referrals from people who themselves contact us. Given the stigma that is attached to mental health issues, and given that Alderney is quite a small community, quite often you'll find that people don't come out and sort of let people know. And hopefully one of the things that having this as a community base will, will do is, is get people who perhaps think they might need to talk to somebody to come and talk to somebody. As an occupational therapist, um, we use activity um, that somebody wants to do as, as a treatment. Mental health tends to have um, the effect on people that it cuts them off from people. But by engaging in activities, whether it's sort of groups, talking groups or in one-to-one, -one, the activity becomes the focus um, and something familiar and something that's enjoyable for somebody. So it becomes kind of like the key that helps to unlock somebody's recovery and their well-being. Community Mental Health Nurse is someone that meets with people who are struggling with their mental health and the role um, that I would do is meeting with them and offering an assessment to look at what's kind of going on for them at that moment in their life. A lot of work that we're doing at the minute is trying to work with people to help them better manage their emotions and um, so giving them tools and techniques so that they can go away and, and use those um, independently and autonomously. We have a lot of facilities and staff available and we have a lot of fantastic services available both within the States of Guernsey but also within primary care, within the community, so MIND, the Youth Commission. But I think we then need to look at what gaps we have and look at how we can serve those gaps either through existing community services or through looking at additional services that we may need.